Hello Taurus, I hope you are well. Welcome to your tarot reading beginning the 29th of May. I say that, but it's timeless reading. So whenever it uh, comes across your path, it can be relevant for you. It could be in two years time. Okay, and uh, please bear in mind it's general reading and it won't resonate with everyone. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can uh, find all the details in the description below. Okay, and yeah, please bear in mind that I see spirit around me. I may start talking fast because I channel messages. Cards are an illustration of the message I get direct from spirit. So you may see lots of things go on here, shadows, flashes, whatever. We've had them all. Okay, let me know if you see anything. Right, let's start off with an oracle card. And most importantly, if you're new here, please subscribe. And if you're coming back, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy it. Okay. Right, the veil. Hmm. Let me get one more. Something needs illuminating in your life. Something, uh, oh, my favourite card. I don't want to like spider. <laughs> Yuck. So when I say spider, that's normally something uh, you've been afraid of. Uh, I see them as symbols of fear because I have that fear. So my guides will often show them to me, uh, which is really annoying because I can really see them. Um, and it's also about weaving a new web, a new uh, connection, social connections, uh, things like that. But actually, uh, it's like for some of you, there's a spider at the center of your web that needs removing. You need to create your own web. Somebody's come into your web and is taking it over. And I, I, I don't know why I'm saying that. That's the message I'm getting. You need to lift the veil on somebody who is uh, manipulating you and controlling your life, your little web. See, say the web is your life, okay? Uh, somebody else is at the center of it, actually controlling it and making you weave in a certain way. It's like you're, whatever you're doing, uh, you're doing for them rather than yourself. Uh, so Spirit want you to uh, get rid of that spider in the middle. Lift the veil. So this is a relationship. Uh, business partnership I'm getting as well. Some kind of business partnership. Social media as well. Um, somebody is manipulating you. You need to lift the veil and look at it squarely. Uh, this is also about seeing into the spirit world, getting, uh, you know, more, um, I don't know, coming online with your gifts a bit more, spiritual awareness. And uh, yeah, look, that candle's out. So uh, it's almost like this person has uh, put a veil over you. You can't see. I mean, the, she's taken it off. She's put it over the back of her head. It's somebody you are well, you could be married to, engaged to. This can also be a business partnership as well. As somebody you have a commitment with, they've been manipulating you for a long time. This is not going to resonate with everybody, obviously, but quite a few of you. This and lots of different things you need to put put the veil back and look at this squarely. Uh, it's almost like some of you knew about it as well, but you turned out the lights so you couldn't see because you didn't want to let go of them. Okay, it's time to weave your web. Okay, oh, that's giving me the heebie-jeebies. A lot of fear associated with that. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah, it's something you're very fearful of because I'm really picking them. Ugh, they've got them crawling all over me right now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Father. Sorry. Oh, that is just too scary. Go away. There's a siren. So that tells me, oh, get them off. Yeah, so there's one here. There are a few things that you're you are afraid of that you need to let go of that you're not seeing okay you're not seeing clearly about something that resonate with this too actually because uh, it's so frustrating um come out of the dark relight that candle and it's also i'm getting the song relight my fire as well relight your passion for your wants needs and desires that you've pushed aside for this person for this thing you've been seeking approval trying to get this person to to uh approve of you to love you this is, could be narcissistic parent this could be narcissistic partner anything stop yeah, stop. I'm actually going to use my seashell cards here before I go into the tarot. And we'll see what's um, going on here. Okay. Hmm. You feel very small. Look at how small that is. It, this person's made you feel very small. Ah, yeah. Unconditional love. 
this is what you're looking for. This is the kitten's paw oyster, right? And uh, this person has made you feel very small. You are looking for unconditional love and you're not getting it, okay? I want to take that one straight off the top. Starfish, surviving something disgusting and stomach turning. <laughs> Great. Okay. Yeah, you're looking for unconditional love. You give unconditional love, but you really need to say that this is not the way to go. This is not the person for you. Now, that's not going to resonate with everyone. This is tarot reading, for heaven's sake, yeah? You you do what, you, you know, you self-empowerment here and making the correct decisions, yeah? Listen to your intuition. But I'm getting for some of you, it's definitely something that's made you feel very small and you are giving unconditional love but you're not getting unconditional love back it's time to find somebody who will give you uh unconditional love okay and uh it's almost like there's a trauma bond here codependency they tell me as well you need to let go it, it's almost like uh, sometimes you you feel sick sick with emotion sick this person sometimes makes you feel very anxious and um, makes you feel disgusting, makes you feel very, very small. And, oh, this, this is abuse. This is horrible. Control. Yeah, you've got to get rid of that spider at the uh, middle of the web. The control in every move you make. I do not like that at all. I want to take this one off the top because it's screaming at me and it's lovely. Um, look at those, look at those lovely colours. That's like sun, rays of sunshine there going over that shell. Um, elongated, oh my goodness, I'm going to say that. Tridina clam. Uh, undeserving of a reputation, being misunderstood. Somebody is, uh, I think this person tells you you're not good enough, that you, um, are a bad person, uh, this could be parent that you're not good enough that you're uh if you don't do the way things the way they say then you're bad and they uh, they bad mouth you to people this is friendship as well this is like frenemy territory as well um it's almost like uh, it's a clam so it's about one you to open the clam see the pearl inside look at those lovely rays of sunshine it's like your sunshine is trapped under that shell who you are who you give um is trapped under a veil as we're you know uh with this card yeah your light's being fizzled out by this horrible spider he makes you frightened i said he it could be anybody but i got a he here but it could be anybody friend is a Possibly a, a woman. I, d I don't know. It's for different for all of you. Um, but look, the rays of sunshine are trapped. They've got you trapped. So you need to get out of that. Just take action. Okay. So these ones, I've got so many cards here. Okay. Yeah. Travel. Travel away from this situation. Travel. Um... Yeah, look at that, he's pointing a, a direction for you to go. You need to go this way. You've been held back, but it's like this is chariot energy to me. It's like, why aren't you coming? Why aren't you moving? Why aren't you travelling away from this situation? You know what to do. Come with me and I'll show you great adventures. Okay? So, and that is the god Garuda. Okay, we'll do another one. And I'll go the tarot. Yeah, because uh, if you, yeah, you're definitely getting guidance. Look, this is Odin guidance. Your spirit team are screaming at you. This is the way. Come on, move. Why are you still here? You've learned all you need to learn from this. It's time to uh, be self empowered and move out and stand up and be counted for yourself, defend yourself. Yeah, uh, by getting out of this situation. It does not serve you anymore, right? Uh, and you can do it without them. Some of you think you can't, but you can uh, because you're going to come into abundance. And this is Green Man. So Green Man, you um, can create things, uh, 
create new uh, i'm getting new products new this is business partnership i'm getting now you can be very creative and do new things it's you've been held back it's like you know which way to take your business and you've been held back by this person you thought had all the ideas and and you couldn't do it on your own yeah i won't say this more oh, begins with b <laughs> oh man that's wearing <laughs> Yeah, so it's uh, you can create abundance on your own. You are fertile with ideas, I'm getting, yeah? And look at this sun um, here, this, this illumination. This is also solar plexus energy, which is here, which is all about your independence and, you know, that drive forward and uh, self-empowerment. I'm getting... Oh, who is that then? Sorry, I'm getting um, like... It's, it's like a shot of electricity all over me. It's spirit coming in and out of me um so yeah time to move forward okay uh i was going to go in the tower but i'm not being asked to look at these angel cards now you're going to use the whole all of these cards are you so okay what's this one then melahel god deflecting evil uh healing capacity protection from weapons safety in travel so you're you are protected right now okay your angelic team is protecting you uh you can be protected uh getting out of this situation you will be protected whether it's going from an abusive relationship a friendship or um from a business partnership legally you will be protected okay so i have to tell you that okay now we'll go uh, into some tarot. Let's move that around. I've got some more room. Okay, let's see what we've got. <sighs> Either way, you can join this channel for extra perks and to watch videos ad free before anyone else. So, oh, 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 here we go. Oh, look at all these. Um, yeah, there's definitely, uh, you know, this is nine of coins, nine of pentacles. This is definitely about you being on your own, doing something on your own, uh, definite change coming in judgment. You're judging a situation. You're seeing the truth of the situation and you are going to follow your star and move on. Yeah. You're being guided. Everything you want is in this star and you, it is attainable. Okay. Cause look, three of cups celebration. It's definitely coming to you. This is a new contract as well for a job. New contracts, tenders coming in, things like that I'm getting. Okay, it will be successful, but on your own. Okay. Uh, one more. Go with these. Okay, yeah, because you're climbing the ladder of success, three of wands, and you're going for what you want. You're climbing the ladder, ladder towards this, uh, this star. It is attainable okay 13 13 i just saw on the clock which is uh transformation no i don't want all of them no oh, apparently i do oh yeah um something you're negotiating uh king of cups and you're using firepower for this but in a good way. You're, it's also an emotional connection. Uh, the wanting you to not be too fiery, but be more in your emotions. Um, don't neglect your emotions in this or your emotional needs, okay? Uh, because it's going to form part of your success. Somebody writing, journaling, uh, writing something down or putting your emotions into it. I don't know if some of you are writing a book about your experiences of abuse, perhaps. Um don't make it too emotional, I'm being told, but, you know, Ace of Coins as well. This is definitely uh, something you can pursue that is uh, money, okay? Uh, definitely money. Um, I'm an author as well. If you need any help uh, with coaching for writing, anything like that, contact me. All my details are in the description. I can help you with that. Ooh, ooh careful. I've got this on the bottom here, Seven of Swords. Stop deceiving yourself about something, okay? Remember that this person who's at the centre of the web, who I told you, is going to tell you you can't do it, right? And that's because they want to keep you where you are. But do you see, it's, uh, it's like a dinosaur here. 
okay that's uh you taking control and knowing exactly what they do they think they've got away with everything and what they're doing but you know and it's almost like your not your shadow side but part of you knows and has been watching for a very long time and knows everything they're up to i think you've been following them on social media and you found out just what they're doing somebody's been bad mouthed reviews something like that uh, Sorry, I've got spirit in the house over here. Um, <laughs> my sofa. Um, I don't know if you saw that, but somebody moved behind there. I can see them. It was a shadow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So watch the reputation of somebody um, slandering you. My that. I don't know who that's for. You know, if it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. Don't take it. Uh, okay, Six of Vessels reunion. Some of you are coming into a reunion with someone from the past. Like an aunt, uncle. Could even be ancestors in spirit. Oh, yeah. This is uh, a dream you're going to have in your sleep. Obviously, in your sleep. <laughs> Well, no, it could daydream, um, but it's going to be when you're asleep, you're going to start connecting with spirit and you're going to start connecting with uh, all family members. Look at these trees, uh, lots of uh, spirit. It's going to be quite emotional for you, um, but it's like all these ancestors are going to start coming forward. Some of you are coming into your spiritual gifts. I'm talking to um, some psychic people here, or people who are opening up to that. You're going to start having dreams where the messages are going to come through in your sleep. OK, well, this is definitely uh, looking up. I mean, we've got the four, four of arrows here, OK, um, which is rest. But look at that um, butterfly. That's huge. It's wonderful. It's almost like that's what you're going to transform. And you're, it's like your spirit is transforming and going into a beautiful butterfly. I'm getting like somebody's either ascending or could be leaving the planet and going into their beautiful soul. Yeah, I'm definitely getting somebody's passing away and they're going um, into their beautiful soul. Uh, and it's going to be very peaceful and loving is surrounded by family. OK, in particular for. I don't know where that came from, but my messages are channeled. OK, the one off the bottom as well here, which is nine of vessels, nine of cups. Cups generosity. Some of you are coming into your wish, but you've got to take those steps to free yourself from the entanglement of a nasty spider sitting at the center of your web. Weave your own web of destiny. OK, self-empowerment, getting control. OK, right, let's finish off with a quick oracle card. And then I will let you go. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe if you have and share this one and get the message out to other Taurines, please. Thank you. Okay, ah, there you go. Taurus. <laughs> That's your God. Cultivate. Yeah, so there's lots of new opportunities, things coming in for you. Fertile ground. Stop being your stubborn self. See that you can do this on your own. Move forward and everything will be there for you. Uh, you know, you've been loyal for too long. You're famous for your loyalty. You've been loyal for too long. It is time to think of yourself here. There will be somebody else or a new partnership at some point or a new friend that will come along and be worthy of your loyalty. Good luck. Sounds really good. Take care of yourselves and I shall see you next time. Bye.